What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a convenience good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the Blue Olfin 9 foot 3 tier patio market umbrella I picked up using Amazon Prime for $114.99. Out of five stars, this three tier market umbrella gets five out of five out of nine customer reviews. This umbrella does come in two different colorways, mocha and cream beige. Here in front of us today, we have it in mocha, or you can also choose it between two different tiers. Here in front of us today, we have the three tier. I will show you exactly what that is referring to once we get this out of the box and once we get it set up, or you can choose between two tiers. Again, I'll go ahead and point that out as soon as we get this out of the box and set up. Today, we're gonna to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions. Spring and summer are right around the corner. Spring is this weekend. If you've got a patio umbrella from last season or maybe a few seasons ago that needs to be replaced, that's maybe just a little bit worn out and a little bit faded, this would be a fantastic patio umbrella to go with and we're going to go over exactly why as soon as we get into this unboxing and first impression. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So as you can see, just a little bit big for my review table. It is a nine foot patio umbrella. I think this table is like maybe six or seven feet wide, so it doesn't quite fit, but uh, you actually get the patio umbrella pretty much right at the top of the box here. Get this out of the box here. So go ahead and maybe just put this on the table like so and just pull the patio umbrella off. So right away you'll notice I think that the material of this umbrella is just a little bit different than normal. But uh, first thing is first what we get in the box here is uh, probably a user guide here. So you can pretty much see Pretty much how to care for the umbrella from what i understand you can actually clean this material off with soap and water gives us a pretty good idea of how to assemble it there's actually six steps you have to follow and last but not least what i really like is it actually goes over uh, the functionality of the umbrella once you do finally have it assembled uh, from what i understand this does have a tilt feature which is operated by a button we'll go ahead and take a look at that once we get the umbrella set up Old fin is referring to the material itself and it's actually this canvas type material it's a little bit different from say it definitely feels a little bit more coarse a little bit more rough than like a smooth uh, i know it does look brown to you but to me it actually kind of takes on this all green look and i think that's actually important to note because not only is mocha a great color for any patio it's conservative it pretty much goes with most color schematics uh, on the market today. But I think if you've got a lot of shrubbery, like a lot of trees or a lot of hedges or bushes around your house, around your patio, for example, this will definitely blend in and sort of, I think, play on that green color palette just a little bit and really blend in and look the part. I think if you went with the cream beige color, which is like a tannish color, that may not have looked as good. So. Definitely keep in mind that I think if you've got darker greens and other colors like that around your patio, so other portions of the umbrella are either plastic or they're a really nice stainless chrome finish. But here you'll actually notice it's actually more of a matte finish. It's a little bit coarse and it actually is a little bit sticky. That is because they did put some special material on here so that this doesn't rust. So that's really good to see. Another thing I also want to point out here is the thickness of this metal material. When you do actually tilt the umbrella using the tilt function, you'll definitely be, you know, displacing weight to either the left or the right side of the base of the umbrella. So what's important here is that you have a nice sturdy metal structure, one that's also rust resistant. So no portion of this metal structure becomes compromised over the years. So that's really awesome to see. Okay, so now that we've pretty much got the umbrella out of the box, I've shown you what comes in the box. You get the user guide, which goes over how to assemble it, how to store it, how to care for it, how to dispose of it even. It even goes over the features that the umbrella has. We took a look at the material. We took a look at the structure here, which you saw was a really nice, sturdy, uh, rust-resistant metal rod. Uh, we also saw that it comes with a 
nice little plastic topper to give it some uh, extra character. And then last but not least, what we did go over was the fact that you do need to buy a third party base, which I did. So now that we have all these things uh, pretty much out of the box and we can see pretty much how simple it will be to set up, uh, I'll show you the different features and we'll go ahead and close out this video. So let's go ahead and get to that and uh, I'll see you outside. Okay guys, so I just got the umbrella set up. It was extremely easy to assemble and put together. It took no more than five minutes. In fact, it actually took longer for me to set up all of my camera equipment here and get everything in this little area set up so that it looks presentable so that I can show you this umbrella. As you can see, it's nine feet. I am about six feet tall. So it's got about three feet on me. It's a pretty decent size umbrella. Uh, it's not terribly heavy. Uh, it is easy to move around the deck space. Uh, and one thing I actually want to point out here is like I did mention at the beginning of the video, you will need to pick up a third party base. Uh, I actually bought a base for, I think it was $40 at Lowe's Home Improvement. I can leave a link in the description to that base below if you'd like. But let's go ahead and take a look at the umbrella itself. As you can see this uh, brownish mocha color uh, you can get a pretty good idea of the tone of it compared to this backdrop here. It's like a sort of maybe light grayish blue. Uh, maybe I'll stand this up next to a tree so you can just see how uh, the green in this actually comes out if you just let the sun hit it right. So as you can see this umbrella does have a crank. You can pretty much crank the umbrella out. It's extremely nice and it actually just sort of locks in the space. Uh, by itself and then there's actually a pin at the top of the umbrella here uh, the three tier effect is actually these little tiers in the umbrella itself that sort of allow air and light in that will actually sort of give it some character i think and uh, maybe just change the sort of atmosphere and the ambiance when you're sitting outside uh, so one thing i think you'll notice here is you've actually got this chair underneath the umbrella, but the sun's actually coming in to a point where the umbrella can't uh, compensate for it. So what you'll actually notice here is you actually get a little button here. Uh, place your hand more towards the top of the umbrella so that it doesn't uh, fall over on accident. Uh, this is a pretty heavy piece up here. So yeah, but once you actually get it to uh, lock into place, there's only a couple of angles you can work with here so uh, you've got this angle and then it doesn't go any further you've got straight up and it locks into place and then last but not least you can see here you can tilt it all the way down uh, for 115 dollars i think this is a pretty nice umbrella i really like the material i think uh, the thread sticking out and uh, pulling out a little bit uh, all the fibers that you notice i think that is maybe a take back with this umbrella but I think the material itself is a nice lightweight fabric. It's a nice canvas. It uh, deflects sun nicely. I'm sitting here underneath the umbrella now, and uh, I've actually got sun coming right down on me, but I wouldn't be able to tell you because this does such a great job of deflecting it and absorbing that heat as well. I would say it's about 10 degrees cooler underneath this umbrella. Uh, and I think the design is great too. I really love the three-tier design with the uh, little vents in the top of the umbrella itself. I think that just adds some character. Anyways, guys, this has been pretty much an unboxing and a first impressions of the blue Olfin nine foot three tier patio umbrella. I picked up using Amazon Prime for $114.99. Out of five stars, this umbrella does get five out of five out of nine customer reviews. Because I picked it up on Amazon, that does make it a convenience good. This is a really nice patio umbrella. I'm really enjoying this. I think this will definitely last a couple of seasons and it will look good doing so. So yeah, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and close out this unboxing and first impressions. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. I will see you in the next one.